What's going on YouTube? It's me, Busy B. It's a little warmish where I'm at. I'm in Gaff I'm in Gaffney, South Carolina today, and uh, I'm trying to keep the truck at a decent temperature um, so that I can sleep. And it's starting to really warm up in the Peterbilt right now. So um, I just caught saw something that caught my eye. The, Screws coming off the dash for the switch. That's another story. Well, Molly, I'll show you. Look, it's coming off. Going behind the dash. I hate that about this truck. I, I got an idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to give me some nail polish and I'm going to put on the threads. Kind of like Loctite almost. Just a little bit of nail polish. Tie them up. It'll make them stay put. They don't vibrate loose. Um, but anyway... Back on the video, what I'm trying to do for you guys. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked and I saw that. I was like, what the hell? Um, today, I got a little bit of a different uh, thing for you uh, that I've been talking about for a while. As you can see, I got my heater back here in the bunk. I got the fridge, I got the microwave, the fridge, and all that back there on my shelf, as always. Um, but uh, I actually have something a little bit more. As you know, I have the generator on the rig. Generator is doing just fine now. Um, in my previous video, I was doing uh, showing you how to use a paracord to fix the pull start with the rope if the rope breaks, and I done that. Now I'm going to show you what I did in the truck. Granted, she's a little messy right now because I've been so busy with everything here lately, and I just got to the point where I didn't want to clean the truck, and basically I lost all hope and. I actually uh, done something else today in the truck to help get it better and uh, we are going to be ordering the steps really really soon for the Pete um, the one on the driver's side finally fell apart on me I had asked someone to do some engineering on that I'll do a video on that as well but let's get into what we're talking about today I actually made a red neck APU system in this rig and you're like what I got the generator right the whole purpose of getting the generator is so I can heat and cool my rig and also get the batteries charged and stuff like that for when I'm sitting. Now, got the heater, check. Now, also, as you can see, check it out. Got an air conditioner right here, stand up upright air conditioner. I took the passenger seat out. Some of you can't do that in your rig. I can because nobody ever rides with me. My wife has no desire to ride with me because the truck's too small but me on the other hand I need to keep the truck cool during the summertime it's getting ready to be summer it's spring now and uh, I'll show you what I've done okay so I took the hose the, the, the flat piece cut it to size to fit in my window okay everybody has a different size window you cut it so it'll go around the ring as you can see right there I've cut along here and made it work then I put the foam stuff around the edge of it to give it a little bit more softness and stuff and then make it stay in the window a little bit better because the wind blows you never know but it's in there good and tight like we say in it in my house we call it German tight German tight it is good and tight haha -ha, for you Germans um, so you got the tube here running into the window that comes with the air conditioning unit and then it goes to here of course and then you have it plugged into the extension cord which is going to the generator on the catwalk for me and then hit the button voila air conditioning in the peak and guess what this will cool a small room not only that, it will cool a hot ass truck when it's 120 degrees outside. And it will stay up, trust me. I got it on 69 right now. Now, this is the first time I'm actually trying this out. I will let you know in a future video if this works out pretty good. It should. I've seen guys do it all the time. And uh, I can't afford an APU like most people. And I want the cheapest route as possible. I got it. I got a generator for about five hundred dollars. I paid three twenty-five at Walmart for the AC unit, 
$35 for the little heater over here. Okay? And it works. Okay? Now, that being said, I know someone's going to say in the comments below or something or other, well, your diesel will gel up in the wintertime. You're absolutely correct. And when it's too stinking cold, I will actually idle the rig when it's too stinking cold. Okay? I, I just... I don't want to have that gelling up. And then when it got into negatives, yes, I was idling my truck. But I try to keep the idling down on my rig as much as possible because it gets less wear and tear on your engine and components. Of, I mean, all the components of the engine, it keeps the wear and tear down. And not only that, right now, I'm seeing gas about $1.05 a gallon right now throughout the U.S. I haven't seen that since I was a teenager. Or in my early 20s, believe it or not. So, I am ecstatic that gas is cheap right now. Now, I'm not putting the cheap stuff in it because I tried that once and they didn't like it at all. And it ran like dog crap. So, I put the good stuff in there. It does just fine. And you're paying about, two, about say about $1.89 to $2 a gallon for the premium. And it's doing a very good job. I cannot complain. So, anyways, this is what I call a redneck air conditioner running off a generator. Okay? And you can do this with your RV as well. Um, you know, I mean, there's many ways to save money, and this is one way to save money. And uh, I'll just wave it to another driver. But I figured this is an easy way to do it. Save a little bit of money. I don't have eight G's right now to fork out because this truck needs some more work done to it. You know? And um, I am doing an experiment right now to see if something's going to clear up. And we'll see how it is when I put a load on it. Um, I decided today to buy Centromatics. And we'll go into depth in a probably about a month to see how everything's going for that and then um, we'll update you periodically with the Centromatics and how well it's doing um, I had a tire shake took all the weights off the tires and then I had balancing beads I will never ever again put balancing beads in my tires ever 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 again because every time I put them on my rig guess what I had to take them back out because they don't balance they suck so, yeah. And, uh, I'm not too happy, man. I mean, with the balance of beads. So, I decided, well, I'm not going to put them on my tires anymore. And out of that, you're wearing the inner layer of the rubber inside the tire. I've heard tire techs tell me you put golf balls in there, it's going to put a line in there where it sits on the rubber. And it's going to be moving the whole entire time. So, it's putting wear inside the tire. You know, and I'm just like, no, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. I ain't do that no more. So I went and got the Centromatics. I paid. I got them on the drives right now. I'm not doing the steers right now because my steers are fine. All right. I had a drive tire. It was sitting there shimming and shaking. I'm going to go down the road. And I'm sitting there just going like this when I'm going down the road a little bit. And I'm like, dang, go on, man. And also, I've done work on the drive shaft. I've done whole drivetrain pretty much and I still got a vibration done alignment I've done it all so I've gotten now to fine tuning everything to where the vibration go down and then I am going to um, take it to a shop in Terre Haute Indiana that does drivetrain and all that and we're gonna see what exactly is going down you know what I mean I feel I got a feeling I probably have to put another differential in the front front differential on my truck with the power divider and all that it is what it is um but sad story is T and Petro put the wrong oil in my rear ends and I caught it and the rear one's fine the front one got the the, the beat of it and uh, I think it's the one you use the most anyway so you hardly ever use the rear one it's just it just rolls down the road the only time it goes into play is when you hit the switch but anyway I'm rambling on I apologize I'm tired I've been in a long day figured I'd show you a little bit about me what's going on today a redneck setup and I call it a poor man setup because this shit works pardon my language this stuff works demonetize 
And uh, I can't complain, man. Hey, it's working right now. Truck was hot a minute ago. Now it's a lot better. So, y'all be safe out there. Remember, I, like I say, all things are possible. I made this possible. I got air conditioning, heat in my rig, and I can run the microwave on the generator as well. How about that? And I don't even have to idle my truck to do any of that. That's even better. And uh, I'm just trying to keep it comfy in here for me. And uh, I'm going to go to bed because I work the late night shift. And I'm going to put my head on my pillow and I'm going to be out, yo. So be safe out there. And then if you like this video, please, for the love of God, give it a thumbs up for me, guys. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos and stuff, and I said I, I just would love to see some likes on this video of something cool. And uh, subscribe if you're watching this video. Subscribe for more. Subscribe to my channel, and I, I imagine you'll see more crazy little stuff like this. You know, I mean, I, I'm always coming outside the box with things. You know, so you might like you might like this guy. I'm a pretty cool cat. I come up with the cool stuff all the time. And if you see my buddy Rambo on the road. Ask him. He's always, my mind's always going. He never stops. And that's the truth. I come up with some cool stuff. So, um, and uh, fabricate things, you know. Or just, how'd you do that? And I just did it, you know. So, catch you later, all later. Remember, all things are possible. We'll catch you all, all, all later. As, as I say again, I'm tired. And then, uh, peace out. All right, later. God bless. And enjoy a cool day. Right? I appreciate y'all being my biggest fans.